హలో ఫోక్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ మై నేమ్ ఈస్ శివా ఖోయా ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ ఎపిసోడ్ వీ వెంట్ త్రూ ద బేసిక్స్ ఆఫ్ టెన్ ఎయిటీ నైన్ ఫార్మ్స్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఎ ఫన్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు షో యూ హౌ టు జనరేట్ టెన్ ఎయిటీ నైన్ ఫార్మ్స్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద బాక్స్ ఫ్రమ్ పీపుల్స్ ఆఫ్ సిస్టమ్ బిఫోర్ యూ ప్రొసీడ్ ఫర్దర్ ఐ వుడ్ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ రికమెండ్ యూ టు వాచ్ మై అకౌంట్స్ పేయబుల్ ట్యుటోరియల్ బికాస్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు స్కిప్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్టెప్స్ జూరింగ్ టెన్ ఎయిటీ నైన్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ trusting that you know how to create a supplier creating a voucher running pay cycle process payment posting etc if not my accounts payable tutorial will provide you all the knowledge that you need for 1099 processing all right now let's jump into today's agenda i will kick off by showing you 1099 setup in my people soft environment then we will pick a supplier and mark the supplier for 1099 withholding we will create a voucher pay the supplier and then run payment posting process next we will run withhold posting process finally we will be running 1099 withholding jobs which generates 1099 file that can be submitted to irs as well as 1099 forms that can be dispatched to all suppliers that received payment from your company all right let's hit the ground now let's quickly skim through 1099 setup in my people soft environment in order to do that i will navigate to setup financials product related procurement options withholding these are all the pages that are used to configure 1099 withholding in people soft environment why don't we start with rules i'll click on rules let's do a search for existing rules i will select zero withholding rule as you can see here percent withheld is zero if we associate this withholding rule at the supplier level or at the voucher level essentially we are not planning to withhold any amount when we pay our suppliers if you want to withhold some percentage of amount from the supplier you can use rule number 1 which would withhold 31% i could be wrong here i believe most of the companies would opt for 0% withholding rule and allow the supplier to pay their own taxes now let's move to the next configuration page withholding types and classes let me search existing withholding types like i mentioned before prior to 2020 we used to have just one withholding type 1099 as you can see here non employee compensation used to be part of 1099 but in 2020 irs changed rules after the change companies has to submit two different types of withholding forms one of the forms can be associated with the withholding type defined here which is 1099n which stands for 1099 non employee compensation form likewise 1099 m withholding type defined here can be associated with 1099 miscellaneous form if we select 1099 n as you can see there are different classes if your company is paying non employee compensation to the supplier we have to associate that specific supplier to withholding type 1099 n and class 01 likewise if we open 1099 m depending on the category of payment we did to the supplier if it is for rents we have to associate the supplier to 1099m class 01 likewise for other kinds of payments now let's move to the next configuration page withholding entities let me search and pick the obvious one irs what we are doing here is we are tying reporting entity to different withholding types that we saw earlier let me click on view all as 1099 is no longer a valid withholding type and i will scroll down after scrolling all the way to the bottom here we can see the newest withholding types 1099n this is the withholding class 01 that we saw earlier which is non employee compensation basically we are tying everything here we are tying the withholding type to the withholding rule that we saw earlier 
The other fields that you are seeing here, jurisdiction, business unit categories, supplier category, everything you can configure from the same configuration folder. Let me open a new window. And if we navigate to the same setup pages, here you can see we can define jurisdictions, business unit categories, supplier categories, which I'm not going to cover in this episode. They are basically used to segregate data and apply different configurations. This is important one, minimum amount to report. Using this configuration, we are enforcing one of the IRS rules for the withholding type 1099 NEC and class 01, which is non-employee compensation, your company should issue 1099 NEC to the external contractor if it paid at least $600. I hope you got the point. The same setup is done for the remaining withholding types. Once we are done here, we have to associate different withholding types to our business unit. In order to do that, I will navigate to Setup Financials, Business Unit Related, Procurement, Procurement Control. Let's search for our business unit. We will navigate to Withholding. Here we should add Withholding Entity, Withholding Type that are applicable to our business unit. Let me go ahead and save our changes. That's it guys, the hard part is over. Let's move to the next step. The next step in our process is, we will pick a supplier and subject him to 1099 withholding. Just for fun, let's assume our company has selected Koya Consulting to redesign its website. I already keyed in supplier information in PeopleSoft system. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to subject our new supplier to 1099 withholding. All right, I navigated to supplier information page. Make sure you are in correct history mode and I will search for our supplier. Now I will navigate to identifying information tab. In order to subject our supplier to 1099 withholding, we have to check this withholding box. Let's navigate to address tab. This is the information I filled ahead of time. Now I will navigate to location tab where I will key in 1099 withholding information. Let's start by picking withholding entity. In our case, it is IRS. Next, we will select withholding type. This is the step that might require experience to classify suppliers under correct withholding type and class. In our specific case, since our supplier is providing professional services, we should issue 1099 non-employee compensation form. So I will pick 1099N. Next, I will select withholding jurisdiction, which is Fed. Let's make this withholding type as default for our supplier. If there are multiple withholding types associated with our supplier, withholding type and withholding class associated with this default jurisdiction will be defaulted when we create voucher for this supplier. Now I will select default withholding class based on the transaction that we plan to do with this supplier. In our case, it is non-employee compensation. Next, let's select withhold status. In our case, we do not plan to withhold any payment amount from the supplier, just that we want to report the payment on 1099 form. So I will select reporting only. Now I will select with whom should we report this information. I will select IRS. Now I will select the address that should be reported on 1099 NEC form. And I will provide the TIN type. I will select federal employer ID number. And I will input the tax identification number of our supplier. I will click OK. I will go ahead and save our supplier changes. If you are curious to know the table behind the scenes that we just saved here is the table name and if we run this query here we can see the 1099 information that we just saved let's just say koya consulting completed web designing assignment and it is time for our company to release payment to our supplier in order to pay supplier in peoplesoft we have to create voucher 
Now I'll search for the voucher that I have already created ahead of time using our supplier name. And this is the voucher I created for our supplier. If we navigate to invoice information, we can see the invoice number and the total amount our company owes for web designing assignment. If I click on the withholding hyperlink, here we can see that 1099 withholding information that defaulted from the supplier page that we saved before. Here is another opportunity to change withholding type or class if appropriate for our supplier. Since these values are appropriate in our case, I am not going to make any changes. If you are curious to know the table behind the scenes, here is the table. If I run the query and scroll all the way to the right, this is where voucher 1099 information is stored. Now I will go behind the scenes and run paycycle process to create payment for our supplier. If you are not sure how, please watch my accounts payable tutorial. All right, I am back after creating payment for our voucher. If you are curious where withholding payment data is stored, here is the table. If I execute our query, and scroll all the way to the right. Here we can see the 1099 payment withholding information. The next step in our process is we have to run payment posting process. So I will go behind the scenes and run payment posting process. The next step in our process is to post all withholding transaction data in one single table for reporting purposes. The table name is withholding transaction table. The process we need to run to perform this step is withholding posting process. Let's go ahead and kick it off. To run withholding posting process, I will navigate to suppliers, 1099 global withholding, maintain post withholdings. Let's add a new run control value. I will click on add button. Let's add a request ID, always process. We are going to post all the transactions related to our business unit. We are going to post all the transactions until December 31st, 2021. Let me input our business unit. I will save our run control. It's time to kick off our withholding posting process. Once the process runs to success, we can view all our withholding transaction information in withholding transaction table, the source table from which all 1099 withholding reports are generated. There is only one withholding transaction I created for the fiscal year 2021. That's the voucher I created for this demo. And this is the withholding information. There are a couple more steps before we can run 1099 reports. First, we have to create a calendar that will be used by 1099 job to select withholding transactions. Let's go ahead and create one. To create a new calendar, I will navigate to set of financials, common definitions, calendars and schedules, detail calendar. Let's add a new value. Let's give a name to our calendar ID. Since 1099 reports are generated annually, I will select end date as yearly. Since we plan to select all the withholding transactions for the entire year, I will input the number of periods in a year as one. Let's give a description to it. Year would be 2021. Start with period one, January 1st, 2021 we want to select all the transaction related to this fiscal year so the end date would be December 31st 2021 let's give a name to our period abbreviation I'll go ahead and save our calendar that's it our calendar is ready now the next step in our process is to create a report control ID. As the name sounds like, 
using report control id we can configure parameters that can control the output of 1099 withholding job to create report control id we have to navigate to set of financials product related procurement options withholding report control information i will add a new value let's give a name to our control id since our company name is bob candy corp for the year 2021 i use this name supplier software indicator flag indicates how are we generating our 1099 reports using a software right using people soft that's why i checked that box for transmitter name i will provide the name of our company now i will input tax id of our company transmitter control code is a unique code provided by irs for each company let's give a random number now i will update the contact name of our company now i'll quickly fill in payer information who paid all the suppliers of course our company i also keyed in phone information of our transmitter likewise i did for payer information i will click okay now we will navigate to the next tab where we can select suppliers and business units i want to select all suppliers for my 1099 withholding report and business unit i will specify our business unit all right we are done here let me go ahead and save our changes finally we are into the last step the easiest step running 1099 withholding job let's go ahead and kick it off to run 1099 withholding job we have to navigate to suppliers 1099 global withholding 1099 reports 1099 withholding job let's create a new run control id let's give a request id always process and we will provide the report control id that we created in the earlier step also let's select the set id and calendar id that we created for this demo we are running it for the fiscal year 2021 and we just have one period for fiscal year 2021 remember 1099 is a annual report that's why we just see one period type of file i will select original and correction we can run as many times as we want withholding process option we want to run this report for all kinds of 1099 forms so I will select all. Now I'll go ahead and kick off our 1099 withholding job. After the job ran to success, if we open the 1099 report and view log trace, here you can see the file that you can submit to IRS. If we open the file, we can see all supplier 1099 withholding information that provided services to our company in our case we just did one transaction for this demo that's why the file is too small let's take a quick look at a couple of tables that were updated behind the scenes by 1099 job our company also should dispatch 1099 forms to suppliers Let's rerun the same process again, but this time we will run AP copy B process. After the process ran to success, if we navigate to report manager and then to administration tab, if we click on 1099N output and this is the 1099NEC form auto generated by PeopleSoft, which you can dispatch to your suppliers in a mail. That's it guys. That's all I have for you today. If you like the content and would like to encourage me, don't forget to hit that like button below. If you want more of these videos, subscribe my channel. I will do my best to come up with quality content in an easy to understand language. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. Until then, keep learning.